So I completely hate making these type of videos because as a black person in America, you do not feel safe calling the cops. Like when some go wrong, you're supposed to call the police officers to come help you. You don't feel safe to do that because you can possibly lose your life like Sonya Massey just did by calling the cops to help her and they murder her in her own house. Straight execution style. And the cop lied about it. But the body footage came out today. And the race soldier who did it, y'all going to see him. And we're going to talk a lot about him in here. But I want to focus on a few things. First, I just seen Joe Biden. He just released a statement doing the basics saying... Sonya family deserve justice. I am heartbroken, heart, heartbroken for her children and the entire family as they face unthinkable of a senseless loss. Jill and I mourn with the rest of the country and our prayers is with the family during this devastating time. And he encouraged Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act as a fundamental commitment to justice. So I'm not going to play the detailed video such as her getting executed, but I'm going to play what led to it. Now, a gentleman I seen on Twitter, the civil civil right lawyer, I had never um, heard of him before, but shout out to him. He probably had a little bit more insight of getting the whole video. So what happened was, she called the cops because she heard or um, somebody outside her home. And she like, yo, somebody outside my house, come check, come see what's popping. So the police officers, they came, checked outside, didn't see nothing. And they knocked on the door, took her a second to answer. And the part y'all going to see right here is once they get in the house. And we're going to react to it and... Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments because this is this is wow. And let me just ch turn on my echo so I can keep my sound on. Here, grab your ID for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. You, you have... see that stack right there, maybe? Okay. One second. Just check on her. Oh, sure. I need this. No, we don't need a fire while we're here. Right. Okay. So what the cop was doing, he was asking her for an ID. So they don't even supposed to be in the house. They just, you know, they seen she was a little off. Some you can tell she didn't have a, something was going on with her. So they supposed to just left, but they like, hey, you know, let us come in and let us see ID. So she couldn't find her ID. She's going through everything. And she had a pot of hot water going. And a cop asked her to go turn it off. And this was happens. Okay. Huh? Where you going? Away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I was rebuking you in the name of Jesus. I'll shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Y'all, if y'all could just see what just happened. So they told her to turn off the water. She go over there to turn it off. And she was like, yo, what's wrong with you? He like, man, you got a hot pot of water. And in her term, she, I don't know if she was calling herself playing around. She was like, look, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And you could tell she wasn't feeling their spirit or their energy off the get go. Because when it was in her house, I guess she called another department. And they was on the phone, and they was like, all right, the police is there, so you can get off the phone. She was like, no, I'll stay on the phone. So it, something was up. So she said she rebuked him in the name of Jesus, and my man said, I will shoot you in the face. What? And pull out his gun. Drop the fucking pot! Drop the fucking pot! The fucking Drop the fucking pot. So I'm not about to show the young lady be executed, but... They told her to drop the pot. She dropped the pot. She put her hands up. Say, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
and buddy get the get get the bussin. Bring emails now. We got a headshot wound to the female. Headshot wound to the female. Ten seventy eight. Fuck. I was on. I was on. So he didn't. The one who executed her didn't have his camera on. But now he just turned on his camera afterwards. But the partner, he had his camera on. I'm going to go get my kit. No, if you head shot, you get your head shot, done. You can go get it, but that's a head shot. <laughs> the officer said, I'm about to go get my kit because I'm assuming it's probably protocol after somebody has been harmed or shot. And he said, hey, man, don't even go do it. His head shot. She, she still don't even go do it. God damn it. God, fuck. Dude, I'm not saying you're fucking boring. I want her to fucking head. Hey, look, it fucking came right to our feet, too. Now, he understand what he just did. Hopefully, you get to cheer. And you get executed, and you're done. Because now he's trying to... Claim self-defense. I wasn't about to take a boiling pot of hot water to the face. You see it's coming to our feet. You was not in danger. You was not in danger. God damn it. Fuck. God damn it. You good? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Let her fucking just... God. Is that what you do, man? Fuck. Did he just say let her effing die? Did he say that? You good? All right. Fuck. The partner is freaking out because he just witnessed his partner execute a black woman. An unarmed black woman. He just watched her execute her. He's like, WCF, dog. He's losing it. Well, I mean, you know, what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the fucking face, and it already reached us. Fuck. <clears throat> they got a 52 in route? Yeah, 1078. She's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood from the head. I'll go get my med kit. Go, go get, yeah, hurry, get your med kit. I mean, there's not much we can do. Now he say, okay, we're going to get the med kit. Let's try and hold the, stop the blood. So, the reason I have this brother stuff is up, because... When a cop go outside, look like he's devastated and completely pissed off. Listen to this. Hands is completely shaking. So his hands shaking and he's just F F. What the like he's go he's he's losing it. Does that really need anything? I'm good. Okay. You doing alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Alright. Think so. No, you're not all right. You just seen your partner execute an unarmed woman, and you know he's in deep shit, and you might be in shit too. You ain't come to work for that.
Let's have a good? Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. What's this? Right, turn that off. Then this cop say, turn your camera off. Because he want to know the real deal of what happened. These cops shouldn't be allowed to turn them cameras off. And to make matters worse, what I just seen on Twitter is that, oh, this old nice old man, nice white cop, caught her an F and B as he's walking outside. Crazy. Listen to this. Listen to this. Crazy B. Yeah, I'm good. This fucking bitch is crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. This fucking bitch is crazy. <clears throat> That's what he think about her. Straight walked up in her house and executed her. And the reason why people are so mad is because we know if that is a white woman that called the cops to come help him, do she die? The exact same scenario you just turn her into a white woman, do we shoot her in the head? No. He was a race soldier. And I hope he rotted hell. 